Welcome to Better, Better, and Better, a show designated to helping you live your best life. Do you ever wonder if you are too old to pursue your dreams? Or perhaps what to do with your time after retirement? On today's show, we're going to meet an amazing local artist who's putting his time in a bottle and a new spin on the golden years. Joining me is Eddie King. Eddie is a local artist in Atlanta who started painting nine years ago. He's here to share his unique artwork and his life as an artist since leaving the corporate world. Well, Eddie, we understand that you worked in the corporate world before becoming a full-time artist. It's very interesting to us, seeing all your work here, how on earth did you make that transition? I worked in the corporate world, the cold business world, for 42, well, all my life. Mm -hmm. I think since my 20s. And I worked for one company here in Atlanta, uh, Service Foods, for 25 years. The other company was in New York. And one day I just, and during the time I worked, I used to take my kids' pictures. Instead of putting them in frames, you can see them in the background there, I put them on bottles. And I don't know how that happened. People liked it. And little by little, uh, they said, instead of putting your kids' pictures on there, why not put other images and paint the way you paint it? And when I first started out, uh, I was very nervous about it. I used to use brushes. It took me forever to make a bottle. And uh, I liked it. It gave me a lot of, a lot of calm because I didn't know what I was going to do. All I had was Social Security going. So, uh, and, and I could see why kids uh, play in mud with their hands, because I paint that way. And all of a sudden, I found it very relaxing, but I never thought about selling it, because the corporate world, I traveled five, six days a week all over the country. And I was a sales manager for a big company. But, uh, I like that too. I like the outgoing. I'm a people person. I guess you see that. And uh, maybe I'm jumping all over the place, but uh, the, the work, the bottles gave me a calming feeling. And I didn't start out with bottles. With the kids, I started out with bottles. And I also put things on wood, uh, you know, collages, and you see them around the house. And uh, I just enjoyed it. I never thought I was going to sell it or become known for it, but uh, somebody found me from a, I think it was called the Sidewall Gallery many years ago. They're not in business anymore in Virginia Highland. And she started me off sort of in her store. And then people saw it and I learned how to apply to arts and craft shows or arts festivals because you have to apply to them and be accepted. And I was very clumsy at that because they jury you and everything like that. But it just evolved, and till this day, you know, I really don't know how the whole thing happened. It's been 10 years already since I'm doing the circuit, what they call the art circuit, where people actually pay for my art, which was the most amazing thing to me, that people are actually paying for what I do in, in, with bottles or wood pieces. So I, I don't know, I'm here today, that's how it happened, with no special reason. What inspired you to use recycled bottles and wood pieces compared to a canvas like many other artists do? You can't buy empty bottles anywhere. <laughs> People throw them in the trash. So I thought it'd be a different media medium. And I went to a couple of recycled places out in Gwinnett here and places like that. And dug into the trash and took the bottles. And uh, I found them very easy to paint on. And, uh, and the more I developed my skill, the easier it was and more gratifying it was. 
And I didn't realize at the time I'm doing recycling. Again, I didn't realize because I don't think recycling was the big word then, 10, 10 15 years ago. Uh, I don't think anybody used the word recycling. The first time I was told I'm recycling, I, I did Earth Day at Georgia Tech. And they said, my God, you recycle bottles. So that's how I knew I was recycling bottles. I was a little ignorant, I guess. And uh, they're easy to work on. And that's how the recycling came into it. I was doing it unintentionally. Eddie, how would you describe your work? My work? Oh, nobody asked me that, OK. You're the only one that asked me that question ever. Uh, Sort of eclectic. Uh, people say they have never seen anything like it, so that's a terrific compliment. Uh, it lifts my ego, you know, boosts my ego, though I have enough ego for everybody, I think. Uh, I, it's different. It's eclectic, it's different, it's unique, uh, and people are amazed at it. Uh, and nobody's ever copied me yet. So I, I said, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that here. That's no, not copying me. <laughs> but it's been good to me. It's been very good to me. And another thing, uh, being out on the, maybe I'm not answering the question correctly, but when I'm out there, I could be feeling junky sitting in a house. And I drag myself out to the festival. And once I'm out there and people start picking up the bottles and looking at them and, and I tell them to look at the pictures because the pictures tell a story. You could imagine a story in the, the pictures. And they look at the color and, uh, and the gratification you get. And the biggest gratification is they pay money for it. So I know they really like it. So you know, all of a sudden, you, it boosts your ego. And you forget about your aches and pains at my age. <laughs> so that's, I hope I answered correctly. Where have you exhibited your artwork? I call them shows, the arts and craft shows. Grand Park, uh, there's a big one coming up, coming up in, uh, in uh, August, the Folk Fest, I don't know if you, everybody, it's one of the biggest shows in the country in Norcross. Uh, Brookhaven has one, Inman Park has, everybody has a festival this, starting in March, everybody has a festival. So I apply to the different festivals. Sometimes I just change around you know, last week I was in the world of Coca-Cola and these people, uh, Atlanta Foundation for Public Spaces, put, put on markets. And the world of Coca-Cola is once a month and you get tourists from all over the world. I mean, I, I have bottles, I have shipped bottles to India, to Germany, to France, so I can say I'm international now. <laughs> That's how I got these glasses from Italy. Uh, somebody sent them to me in exchange. And uh, it's just amazing, even Europeans or Asians, they let me use the words, they flip out over my bottles. And the more they flip out, the more um, my, the feeling I get yeah. is so tremendous, uh, I, I can't dis even describe it. Still yes, it does. Like I said, and I have terrific conversations with people. And they all say they have a lot of fun at my booth. We're going to take a short break here. Don't go away. We'll be back with more Better, Better, and Better. <laughs> 